Hi, I'm Russell with the Piano Outlet. Today I want to talk a little bit about uh, what we do to our used pianos that come in here. All we uh, offer mainly are Yamahas, some flies here and there, but mostly Yamahas. And uh, the thing that separates us from any other facility that uh, offers used pianos is the process that we put them through. We just don't take in a used piano and clean it up and tune it and, and, and send it out the door. Uh, generally speaking, when you buy a piano, whether you spend $10,000 or $50,000, you're expecting that piano to last your lifetime. However, if you buy a piano that's already 25 years old, there's certain issues that you should know that you're going to have to address at some point. And those issues are uh, taken care of by what we do here when our pianos come in. A lot of people don't realize when you buy a 20 or 30 year old piano that uh, tuning stability is compromised through the process of aging, whether the piano is used or not. And so if you get a piano that's uh, that old, then at some point you start dealing with loose tuning pins and having to replace strings here and there. And the best thing to do is actually replace all the strings at once. So then you have everything is, uh, you have continuity, you have all the same uh, size pins, you have the piano holding a tune consistently without some, some notes going out and some staying in. So it's really the best way to go, but it's very, very expensive. Uh, a typical restraining job will cost you about Anywhere from four to six thousand dollars. Uh, right here, we put it in the piano basically for free, and our pianos are very reasonably priced. They're pretty much lower than anybody else's in the country. Plus, you get new strings. And right here, I want to show you a comparison between a piano that comes into us that's from around 1990 that uh, is all original from a home, and uh, what uh, you would look for. For instance, if you were to go to a, another piano store that doesn't do this to their pianos, then uh, what I want to show you are the things to look for when you're looking to buy a piano, the things that are more important than maybe a little scratch on the finish that could be easily fixed. So let's take, for instance, this Yamaha C3, which is about a 1990. It's a very hardly used piano. You can see by the hammers, they're in beautiful condition. Uh, however, on the inside, this piano is just as it was when it left the home and came here, okay, from 1990. You can see right away the bass strings, they're very dark. Now, typically, uh, you could actually clean these with steel wool, but that's not going to help the fact that they're still, you know, uh, 20 years old, 26 years old, or whatever, and uh, their ability to resonate uh, is compromised, you know, uh, through the period of aging. And uh, the, the other thing that we want to talk about is just the condition of the, uh, the piano wire. You see they're not shiny. Uh, anytime that you're looking for a piano, maybe online, it's always good to have very, very high definition pictures taken with a lot of lighting. You can see in here all the hardware is not shiny. Uh, these are all things that we take care of when we uh, restring the piano. We take all these screws out, we take everything out, we're able to clean. The main thing is that I want you to see is these uh, tuning pins. Now these are really supposed to be shiny tuning pins, but just through the process of aging they got really dull. And the main thing is, is that if you look at these coils, the coils are very close down to the plate, which means that this piano has been tuned a bunch of times and every time you tune the piano the coil goes deeper and deeper in. At some point when that coil hits the plate you can't tune that string anymore and you have to put in a different pin. So now you might have a different pin here, a different pin here, a different pin here and the piano is going to lose a tune inconsistently. With our pianos we just change them all out. So it's very important that when you're looking at a piano, maybe you're looking at it online, you really want to get a picture of this, not the exterior, I know the exterior is important because you want a beautiful piano, but this is what makes the piano an instrument and what makes it useful for the period of time that you want. Now let's talk about one that we just finished here. This is the same year piano. As you can see, totally different in here, okay? This isn't just cleaned up. This is replaced. We put all brand new strings in this piano all at once. All the tuning pins are changed all at once, all the same size, all are going to stay in tune the same uh, amount. You're not going to have some notes going out of tune before others. And if you look at the coils, this is up to factory spec. They're nice and high off the plate. This right here tells you that you have 20, 25, 30 years to go with this piano before you have to start addressing a serious issue, meaning uh, how to take, uh, you know, how to... Uh, deal with some notes that go out of tune before others because the most important thing about a piano, uh, other than the, uh, the look of it, because everybody wants a beautiful piano, is its ability to hold a tune. If it can't hold a tune, the piano is worthless. So that's the difference. And again, you know, if you look at the difference between our duplexes 
all of this is nice and shiny and clean. We, we polish all of this by hand. We put new graphite on the bridges, clean and polish the soundboard. So the inside of the piano looks brand new. If you look back at this one here, this is typical of how a piano comes in. And this could be cleaned, uh, but it's never going to look as good as something that's replaced. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you into, the, uh, into our stringing room, and you can see uh, some pianos that we have in the process and uh, see what they look like when they're uh, halfway done. So, um, they'll give you an idea. <laughs> Alright, this is our stringing room. We do uh, strings in here. We also do our piano disc systems. Um, this is a piano. We just took the uh, strings out, and you can see when we pull the strings out of a piano, Everything gets polished, everything gets cleaned in detail by hand, every single screw. Soundboard gets polished, put in new pin bushings, new stringing felts, we clean all the A graphs. We take the, uh, the shelves off for the dampers, we clean those. Everything, everything gets done by hand. You get pretty much a brand new looking piano. This one here, this is an older piano. This is uh, about a 1990 something. Uh, this one here is um, about 19... 78, 79, what we did with this one, when we took out the plate, we painted it the color that they're using in today's pianos, which is more like a bronze, and then we, uh, we sanded down the soundboard to a natural color. So when we had these pianos apart like this, we are able to really clean them up and really do a nice job detailing them. So when you get the piano, it looks absolutely spectacular, and it's going to act like a brand new piano, which, uh, which is something that uh, you know, usually you'd have to spend three times as much in order to get. Um, our pianos do come with a five-year warranty. Uh, we only restring our pianos one time. In other words, uh, I only take in pianos that are 100% original. And, uh, and so when you get a piano from us that's been restrung, it's only its first restringing. Because you usually get about maybe three restringings or four restringings out of a piano uh, before you have to replace the pin block. All we do is take out the plate, clean, detail, put it back in. We do not do any rebuilding. We do not change anything. From the factory, all we do is lift the plate out, <clears throat> put it back in, cleaned with new strings. This was a Yamaha C3 actually, and uh, this piano here, new today, somewhere around thirty-five to forty thousand dollars. This piano will sell for under ten thousand dollars, and it'll look just as nice as a brand new one. Over here, we're getting ready. We're working on a C7, and you can see right here how uh, how nice the uh, the stringing is coming out. This is how the bass strings come in. Every piano, we send out the old bass strings and they get duplicated so they're exactly the same that belong in the piano. And uh, we only use the best materials. We also use all Yamaha parts uh, as far as the hardware is concerned and any parts that, uh, that get put on the piano, like hinges and casters and things like that. Everything is Yamaha. Even the rubber buttons, the screws, everything is gonna be right from the Yamaha factory. Uh, we don't do any refinishing. Our pianos are always the original finish. We just buff and polish so they look like brand new. So I hope you like this little video about our restringing process. And thank you very much for watching.